Well, take a look behind me. This is Middletown right now. You can see it is a beautiful day out there. Bright sunny skies this afternoon, but overnight, oh my gosh, it was a mess out there. That storm brought in snow, rain, and thunder, but it was really the wind that did the most damage. Around 20,000 customers lost power at once. Right now, CLMP reports more than 6,500 customers still in the dark this afternoon. UI says 144 customers still without power. News 8's Kent Pierce is on the scene in Portland. Here in this neighborhood in Portland, they are still cleaning up from the last storm. Take a look at that. That is brush left over from the autumn nor'easter that hit at the end of October. And before anybody's even got the chance to come clean that up, well, this landlord at least has a whole new problem to worry about. That is a big old tree that seemed to come right up out of the ground thanks to all the high wind and heavy rain that swept through the state last night. I was asleep and I heard a really, really loud bang and I ran into my kids' room because if it had gone the other way, it would have hit their bedrooms. Instead, it smashed right through the garage behind this multifamily house on Main Street. It did miss Kelly's second floor apartment, but it also cracked the windshield of her car. But it was this kind of damage that was much more common this morning, downed power lines. They had to close Horse Pond Road in Madison because a tree branch fell on power lines with enough force to snap the tops off of utility poles. Crews will have their hands full replacing those poles and restringing the lines. Back in Portland, Kelly's landlord has his hands full too. The smashed garage was full of doors, hardware and appliances for the several properties he owns in Portland. It was only last week he finished cleaning up from October's nor'easter. I mean, this place looked like um, a war zone after the last storm, so I'm hoping this isn't a preempt to what's going to happen all winter. <laughs> so. It really is an amazing stroke of luck for Kelly and her kids that this tree didn't do any damage to the house, really, especially amazing when you consider just how thoroughly it has obliterated the garage. But that's the only damage, well, that and a little bit of damage to Kelly's car that she hopes isn't too costly to repair. On the scene in Portland, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.